Have you pictured yourself retiring in a place where small town southern farm meets modern conveniences? Well, welcome to the town of Clover, South Carolina. In this video, I will uncover the seven major reasons why Clover should be at the top of your list and stick around for the bonus tip at the end. It might surprise you and might make you tell all your friends, hey guys, we all have to go to Clover together. So y'all stick around and I'll see you at our first stop. Now, Clover, yes, this humble town in York County is part of the Charlotte metropolitan area. If you love the outdoors and you're a nature enthusiast, then let me tell you, Clover is an excellent place to plan your golden year. And if you have thought of moving to the area, I'd love to hear from you. My name's Joe McIntosh, and this is my show, The Carolina Salute, where I cover everything Charlotte and for both North Carolina and South Carolina. So if you're one day out or one year out, give me a call, a text, an email. If you're feeling adventurous, schedule a Zoom so I can get you and your family all the information you need for a smooth move across the country and something you could do right now is smash that subscribe button and it also makes sure you're the first person to know all the new information that i post about the region well guys y'all stay with me and we're getting after it right now hey guys how are you clover like most suburbs of charlotte as we discussed in my previous videos offers the best of both worlds you get this cozy small town atmosphere you can see main street here behind me but you've got access to big city amenities charlotte is just 30 miles away and gastonia is even closer which is right there which will have your other big city amenities also if you didn't want to have to go all the way to charlotte for something very specific. So this place offers you the perfect balance of quiet living and urban convenience. Clover's Main Street here really is a picturesque slice of Americana with our locally owned businesses. In this strip and really within the town, you won't find too many chain restaurants. Here we've got a few shops. We've got eateries right here. Low local diners been here forever. You'll find friendly faces and a strong sense of community here where neighbors know each other by name and always have time for a chat. You know, from here, you can pop into Charlotte and grab a Panthers game, world-class dining, or take in a show at the Blumenthal Performing Arts Center. Here in Clover, you can have your small town cake and your big town cake and eat it too. Well guys, y'all stay with me. I've got more exciting news to share with you. Stay around and we'll see you at the next stop. Hey guys, welcome to this stop. Let's talk housing because one of the most compelling reasons to consider retiring in Clover, South Carolina is the affordability factor. And with that, Clover does not disappoint. As of 2024, the cost of living in Clover is significantly less than the national average, making it an attractive option for retirees looking to stretch their nest egg. Now, if you're looking for a more in-depth look on the cost of living of goods and everything else, check out my channel. I've got a video I've done exactly on the cost of living in Clover, and I break down a lot of the other um, cost of living factors to you. Housing costs in Clover are particularly appealing. According to recent data, our median home price here is hovering in the 300,000s, which is well below the national median. What this means is you can find a comfortable home without breaking the bank, leaving more of your retirement savings to spend on your grandchildren or yourself. But it's not just housing that's affordable and clover. Everyday expenses like groceries, healthcare, and utilities are also reasonably priced compared to many other popular retirement destinations in the country. This means you get to enjoy a high quality of life without constantly worrying about your bank account. Do I have enough money? Is it gonna stretch far enough? Did I do enough in my working years to sustain my quality of life? I think you'll find in Clover, usually your answer is gonna be 
Yes. Now, if you've seen behind me, I'm walking through some of my favorite houses here in the city. These are kind of historic houses and they're beautiful. They just don't make them like this anymore. And that's something that's cool with Clover is you can get whatever type of house you want. Did you want one of these old historic homes? Did you have dreams of fixing one up? Or did you have dreams of just a little bungalow somewhere for you to retire and walk down the main street right here and grab your cup of coffee and breakfast in the morning? Or did you have dreams of retiring with a brand new farmhouse on a little bit of acreage? There's beautiful neighborhoods here for everything your heart could desire. So housing options, housing price, and just the overall cost of living, I believe you will find very, very appealing. You might like it so much, you tell your kids and grandkids to come with you because bonus, Clover does have a top school system. While you're not concerned about it in your retirement years, a top school system does protect your home investment and your equity and keep this a top place for people to want to come to. Well guys, this has been a little bit on housing. I'd love to help you buy a home or just give you more info on the area. So if I can ever do anything for you again, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm not too busy. If you call this number, you're going to talk to me, not some random team member somewhere. So guys, y'all stay with me and I'll see you at our next stop. Hey guys, welcome to this stop. Let's discuss the weather a little bit. I'm actually standing here out in New Center Park. It's got this beautiful little pond here. You can come sit beside, you can come fishing. It's just an awesome place to come down and relax some time but the weather here can be absolutely amazing and we're in the southeast so yes we're gonna get all four seasons does it get hot here in the summer yes we're gonna have days where it's over a hundred degrees and the humidity's pushing a hundred percent also and it feels like you're breathing through a towel but it's not all the time it's not from may to August. There's going to be a few days, the end of July and the beginning of August, where it really is sweltering. But guess what? It's going to cool back off and it's going to be in the mid, the high 80s to mid 90s and just be a beautiful summertime here. And if it is that hot, hey, maybe stay inside, go to the pool, come down, go out to the lake. I enjoy it hot because I do love to play on the lake and get in the pool myself. But after summer is going to be my favorite season and that is fall because it cools off. I can cut off the AC. I can open the windows and just get some fresh air and you can wear shorts and tees and not have to worry about getting sunburnt. It's absolutely beautiful, especially once all the foliage turns and the landscape is absolutely beautiful. So you've got to come see fall here. It is absolutely stunning. Of course, after fall, we get into winter. Winter's not soul crushing. You don't need a snow suit. You don't need a snow blower. You don't need Arctic thermal. You can get rid of all that stuff. All right. You are going to need a winter jacket and you probably will need a pair of boots sometime. But winter's not bad. Every now and again, we do have a chance of snow. And if it's going to snow, nobody can drive in it. Just stay home, light the fire, relax with your loved ones and have a good time. And guess what? The snow will probably be gone by lunch the next day anyway, and you're going about your life. So winter's not bad. Everybody is still active. Everybody is still outside. It is still an amazing place to be. And after that, we're going to get into spring. Spring is lovely, but one note on spring, you're going to need to pre-buy your allergy meds. The pollen here from all of the trees and the flowers and the plants, everything that makes this place beautiful, Hey, it's a double-edged sword because it does wreak havoc on people's allergies. So pre-buy all your stuff. And if you've got really bad allergies, like the doctor said, hey, you need to live in like Antarctica, this probably isn't the place for you. But the weather here is amazing. While we're talking about the weather, let's just touch on location a little bit because from Clover, you're three to four hours to amazing beaches in North and South Carolina, and you're two to four hours to some drop dead stunning places in the mountains. So you can really get the best of all worlds. We're 15 minutes to Lake Wiley, three to four hours to the beach, two to four hours to incredible places in the mountains. So you can't beat your location. Well guys, I hope you're enjoying this tour. What are you thinking of Clover? Does Clover look like somewhere you would want to live. Drop down in the comments and let me know, hey, Clover looks cool or, oh, hell no, I'm not moving there. That place is too small. 
Now, if that's the case, I cover this area. There's got to be somewhere around Charlotte that you would love to call home, and I'd be honored to help you do it. Well, guys, y'all stay with me, and I'll see you at our next stop. Hey, guys, thanks for staying with me on this stop. Let's talk about community. What is there here for you? Because I know that can be extremely important when you're retiring and moving, because odds are good you're going to leave a place where you've got decades or maybe even a lifetime of relationships and you're concerned about, hey, how am I going to integrate into this new community? Are there people like me there? Are there community shops and centers for me to go to and meet new people and get involved? Your answer to that for here is yes. You know, Clover may be small, but it is far, far from sleepy. There's a variety of activities here and amenities that cater specifically to you and retirees to stay active and engage through your retirement. The Clover Senior Center, which is actually right here behind me, while it might not look like much from the outside, inside it is bustling with joy and people having an amazing time. The Clover Senior Center here really is a hub of activity for older adults in the community. They can do anything here from fitness classes, art workshops, educational seminars, so you're never too old to learn something new. And they also have social events. This is a great place to meet new friends, pursue a new hobby, or even just maintain your current interests. They can do it all for you right here. Now, if you are retiring, you're thinking, man, I wanted to retire. I just wanted to sit down with a cold one and fish all day to my heart's content. Lake Wiley is right there, 15 minutes down the road. You drop your brand new bass boat, throw your best lure in, and go to town. You can fish for bass here, crappy, catfish, brim, has got it all in there and also when you come down maybe get a guide to go out the first few times until you kind of learn the water and learn where the fish are within this lake as we know big lake fish do move around and then maybe you said man i wanted to golf so how was golf in the area you are in an incredible place for golf when you move to clover about 20 minutes down the road is going to be river hills country club there in lake wiley you can check out my videos on lake wiley for a more in-depth look there but that's a beautiful Beautiful course. They've just redone it. Pretty stunning there next to the water. Also, just over here in Gaston County, probably 15, 20 minutes north of here, you get into Gaston Country Club. Another great place, another great course you can play. You've got Kramer Mountain and Kramer Golf Club there. That's a technical course because it is on a mountain, but my God, it's beautiful and you get incredible views on clear days like today. Beautiful blue skies. You can see all the way into the city and get, get some sky line view there and then in Charlotte just over the bridge there you're going to get into the Palisades Club that's a pretty new course at uh, your 19th hole and the facilities there are pretty new and they're stunning they've done an excellent job there created an awesome place to play golf and come to hang out when you're done and then if you were looking for exclusivity for golf you can hop into Charlotte and be as exclusive as you want to be call me for more details on that one but guys that kind of rounds out this little piece of clover just wanted to make sure you knew hey you're gonna have some community here you're not just gonna move in and nobody knows who you are there are great opportunities for you to get out and meet your friends and meet your neighbors and meet other people who are just like you so guys if you have thought of moving to this area i really would love to hear from me if you call this number you are going to speak to me you are going to work with me and i'd be honored to help you in this process as we figure out is clover right for you which home makes sense for you in this next stage of your life so guys give me a shout i look forward to speaking soon but y'all stay with me there's some more to cover and the bonus tip is information you gotta have so y'all stay with me and i'll see you at our next stop hey guys how are you thanks for staying with me on this Stop. I'm actually standing in what's going to be the Arbor Chase community. This is going to be a townhome community, brand new, and they're going to be in the low 300,000s. I don't know many places in the country you could buy a townhome. So 300,000 for brand new townhomes. I'm willing to bet wherever you're currently living, you could sell your home, buy one of these cash, and still put a ton of cash in your pocket and further grow that nest egg a little bit more. Sometimes that becomes the power of moving to a smaller town is 
you just get more for your money. But while I'm here, what I wanted to talk to you a little bit about is medicine and healthcare coverage. As a parent with a daughter who seems to get an apocalyptic cold or some serious sickness, it seems like every other month. And also with somebody who had a son who was incredibly sick and is no longer with us, I can appreciate your need and your want to make sure you've got access to incredible health care as you age because it is very important. I'm only in my 40s and it's very important to me. If you have a specialist that you need to go see weekly to make sure something you've got doesn't get out of hand and you have to drive into Charlotte or up to Gastonia, that drive could get annoying after a while. So that is just something to Keep in mind that your major hospitals, your major specialists aren't going to be in Clover. You're going to have to make that trip every week or however often you need to go to that office in order to see that individual. Now, Clover does have all of your day-to-day -day medical that you need. You need just your basic primary care physician. You need to go see audiology. You need to go get your eyes checked. You've got a cold. You need someone to give you a cold, cold pack. Hey, cool. Clover's got you covered all day long or drop into Lake Widely also. Easy drive, easy day. And also while we're talking about kind of just being a small town is sometimes think this is just a sleepy town and it's not. We do have two grocery stores. There's multiple pharmacies. There's incredible places to eat. And there's also some local farms here who are very involved in the community and do an amazing job at the flea markets with the farm to table restaurants. And my favorite, I've talked about fall being my favorite. There's a fall festival here every weekend, just about. So check those out. Those people are doing amazing things here for the community of Clover. Well, guys, what have you thought? How is this looking? Does Clover seem like somewhere you would want to live? And if you're looking for more in-depth knowledge on Clover in specific neighborhoods or more styles of houses, check out my other videos. I've covered them pretty in-depth there. Or just call me and I'll get you all the information you're looking for. Well, guys, y'all stay with me and I look forward to seeing you at our next stop. Hey, guys, how are you? You've made it this far, but for this piece, you might want to take out a pen and a paper because I'm going to give you some tax details that you're going to want to know and remember. Sometimes I joke and say, hey, this is a really fun topic. Being funny, it's not fun, but it is very important and can definitely affect your retirement, your income, and whether or not moving to South Carolina does make sense for you or not. So let's just jump into this great topic called taxes. So for income tax in South Carolina, in South Carolina, your income taxes work much like the federal system, but ours for the state are adjusted yearly for inflation. 2024, the top bracket is 6.4%, and I believe the dollar amount is something like $15,000. So everything $15,000 and above, thereabout, will be taxed at 6.4% percent at the state level. Now, something really cool when it comes to property taxes. Your property taxes in Clover and York County are going to be around 0.65. So you take the purchase price of your home times 0.65 percent, and that'll give you a pretty close estimate of what your property taxes are going to be on your home. So South Carolina has some of the most affordable property taxes in the country. On the flip side of that, if you were to invest in South Carolina, say you wanted like an Airbnb down at the beach, they're going to hit you about two times as hard for your tax rate. And that's the reason we're able to lower our primary resident tax burden. So while we're talking about property taxes, let me tell you something else that the state of South Carolina has done that is pretty amazing. A couple years ago, they passed legislation that stated as far as property tax and property evaluation is concerned, your property can only go up 15%. So we're not out here taxing people out of their home. We are in York County and York County assesses property every five years. The last assessment was in 2020 and our next assessment is gonna be in 2025. 
and quick note on that hey your when you purchase your property it will be assessed at fair market value and then every assessment thereafter you will be able to apply the 15 percent cap so it's going to keep you in your home and lower your tax burden over time i thought that was pretty amazing and really cool now time for the bonus tip i know i've been teasing, teasing you with it now all video if you're still watching i appreciate it thank you so much your bonus tip, this right here could make the difference for you, is one, South Carolina doesn't tax Social Security income. South Carolina doesn't tax your military retirement. And South Carolina gives you very generous deductions from military retirement accounts and 401ks. And South Carolina has a huge deduction for your homestead exemption when you're 65 and older. So those things right there really add up. They really put money in your pocket and make this retirement in South Carolina really make a lot more sense. And then another bonus is, hey, our property insurance is affordable. I've got clients coming out of Florida to where even though they're going to pay some income tax, it still makes more sense for them to be here because of the savings on property taxes and HOAs. And well, we don't have hurricanes. It's 2024. Depending on when you're watching this, maybe you don't remember. Look back and see how blasted Florida got this year. They took three direct hits, which means their property insurance is getting ready to go through the roof. So I know that was a long bonus tip, but it was info I wanted to make sure you had. If you ever got questions, please call me because again, these things change what our government approved one day, every now and again, hey, they disapprove the next. Also, I'm not a CPA, so please check with your CPA to see if the nitty gritty details of the tax environment in South Carolina truly makes sense for your pocket. I think this place is amazing regardless because of everything it offers. Well guys, this brings us to the end. I'd like to thank you for watching another episode of the Carolina Salute. I've been your host, Joe McIntosh. Again, I'm a realtor here from North and South Carolina. If I can never do anything for you, let me know. Until next time, guys, y'all have a good one.